we are coming out from Bolton test center and turning right so when you're doing this test route you need to turn right and right at the roundabout again so you need to be very careful when you're turning right from this Bolton test center because there is a roundabout right after the turning as soon as you turn come out of the car park there will be a roundabout so you need to be very careful I'll keep you with the navigation navigation will guide you and I will guide you where you need my help I will just speak most of the areas where exam where mostly learners they fail meter away from this park vehicle I had the room otherwise I would stop if you think you have no room you will stop we are going straight here right lane will go right so we keep our car left hand lane so we need to be very careful from this mobility scooter Glad to see that gentleman is back on footpath. If navigation is not saying anything, you will keep going straight. And especially when you are driving with the navigation, don't just keep looking on a navigation. Just have a quick glance, that's enough. After 300 yards, turn left, then turn right. There is no turning, navigation got not been updated I think, so it's just a bend, left, so no need for a signal here, right. so we don't need signal here, just follow the road, just before the McDonald's, you're just following the road and turn just bear right, right, then ahead, keep right, so you are just following the road, McDonald is on your right hand side and on your left hand side you can see national windscreen so you will keep your car left hand lane you will keep your car left hand lane because right lane will go right only left lane will go straight as you're going Hovich A673 so keep your car left hand lane hold behind this lady navigation saying keep right because one keep lane right, is going left as well so two lanes going straight yours will be left always remember so we are going straight two lane going straight yours will be always left after 100 yards cross the roundabout first exit so going straight ahead on the roundabout cross here the roundabout, so first look exit. right hand side no one else is coming so we know right to proceed Cross the roundabout, second exit. If somebody turning right, we wait for him, but nobody is here, so we are all right to go. On a mini roundabout, if you're going straight ahead, you don't need indication. If you're so quick, you're all right, but no need for that. Yes, if you're turning left or right, you have to. We're gonna stop behind the vehicle where we can see tire and the tarmac. Don't go too close to the car in front, otherwise examiner will fail you. Examiner may use his brake. He may think you are not stopping and he use his brake and you fail. So always try to stop where you can see tires and tarmac of car in front.
I have uploaded one video at which test route was just over nine miles and the second test route was eight and a half miles and this test route is seven and a half miles. This is 30 miles, but when you see flashing embers, you need to be 20 miles. No pedestrian, that's all right, carry on. Whenever you see any pedestrian crossing, better to ease off the gas and have a look on both sides. yards mean three football grounds one football ground length is nearly 100 yards it's just over 100 yards but you can think three football grounds 300 yards so turning left at the light so mirror Turn signal left. left keep your car a meter away from the curb why are we keeping a meter away from the curb because while turning left we will avoid hitting curb if we're going too close then we may hit the curb. And now there's no curb on our left hand side, but there is a cycle lane. So we need to keep meter away from the cycle lane now. Between these two white lines we need to be. That's 40 miles, we need to speed up a bit. We need to drive according to the status of the road. This is 40 miles, road is clear, so we have to drive 40. If we are driving too slow on a 40 miles, examiner may fail you for saying lacking progress. So you need to keep up the speed. by time your speed you may be under you may be over same again here if these flashing lights amber, these amber flashing embers appears then you need to be 20 this is 40 miles road but when school time is and those lights are on you need to be 20 If there is traffic like traffic at the moment in front you drive according to the status of the road we can't drive 50 here now they're speeding up i'm speeding up the how you do we need to be one and a half meter away from this cyclist so i will change my lane in the thread check and send on the left mirror, come back to left lane again. Whenever 
know you see any cyclist and you got the room overtake him by keeping one and a half meter away don't go too close to him still 50 miles coming so I'm turning right. So I turn right on Chip Hill Road. So too many park cars so we have to stop here to make room for ongoing traffic. how you can deal with the meeting situation after 200 yards turn right then cross the roundabout turning right check center turn right mirror right, signal right then cross the roundabout keeping my car near to this center white line it's a closed junction, I can't see right and left, so I have to stop. So better to stop on the junction, look right, look left. The truck is coming, so I have to wait for this. Yeah, it's turning, so I have opportunity. Cross the roundabout, second exit. So priority to the right. No one else is coming, so I'm all right to proceed. Another roundabout is coming, so going straight ahead. Cross the roundabout, first exit. many parked car on your left hand side again so you need to keep a meter away from parked cars if you can't assess meter just pretend the door is open so that is that far you need to keep anyway the length of your car door is nearly one meter after 300 yards turn left so at the lights we're turning left Because there's a junction before the lights were not signaling yet. We'll go past this junction first, then check center the left mirror indicator and then turn left. Turn left. A 
fast lane is here, you need to read the time. If your test is before 10 o'clock in the morning, you are not going in this bus lane because this bus lane is 7 o'clock till 10 o'clock. Then 4 o'clock till 7 o'clock. So remember, turn right, 7 o'clock till 10 o'clock, you are not going in that bus lane. And if your test is after 10 o'clock, you have to go into the bus lane. Otherwise, the examiner will fail you. Because they say, they make these timings to reduce the burden on the road. After if you're not using bus lane, yards, examiner will fail left. you. If you are out of the time, you have to use it. But within the bus time, you are not using it. If you use it, you will get 60 pound fine and you will fail your test as well. Turn left. We are very near to the test center now. Test center is nearly one and a half miles from here. But there is still so much to explain you. At the end of the road, turn right. Then take the second left. So navigation is very clear. Navigation is saying turn right at the end and then turning left. Yards here, check center right mirror, Turn indicator right, right. Then take the second left. Keep your car near this center white line. I can't see right, so better to stop here. Look right first, look left, then look right again to make sure. taking this left I need to be a little bit away from the curb otherwise we may hit the curb when you see junction is quite tight keep your car nearly a meter away from the curb before you turn left most of the left turnings are tight turnings you need to have a little room turn if you are turning without leaving a little room you may hit the curve at the end of the road turn right then and that can cause you failure left. so you will fail your test so turning right here turn right then take the second so it's a left. close junction again so we'll pretend there's a giveaway line although there's no line but you will pretend on unmarked junctions when you're coming on unmarked junctions, Turn you will pretend left. giveaway lines. Looking right, looking left, look right again, then proceed if nobody coming. flashing embers you need to drive 20 miles because of the school times you may see lollipop here as well you need to be very careful you need to have a look on a pedestrian crossing so better to whenever you see any pedestrian crossing about 100 200 yards you assess this a pedestrian crossing better to ease of the gas to look both sides 
so you can register your concern to the examiner yes i have seen it by easing off the gas obviously when you ease off the gas examiner will understood that you have seen the pedestrian crossing turning left so we'll indicate after overtaking this blue car go left on the roundabout right to the exit. right looking right nobody coming so i'm turning okay so we are about 700 yards before the test center and there are so much to do i will keep try my best to explain you so number first hazard is these park cars on your left hand side so you need to keep meter After away from them. Yards, Number two, road is going right down the hill. You need to be in second gear. Go nice and steady to keep your car under control. Number three, roundabout is coming. Number four, there will be a pedestrian crossing just right after the roundabout. The roundabout and there are two exit. shops on left and right hand side. So many pedestrians can come quickly. Especially pedestrian from this chippy can come quite quick straight onto pedestrian crossing you need to be careful and then you are turning right After on a roundabout and turning left yards, into the test center right the that is why these 700 exit, yards you need to be very you careful your so turning right here now priority to the right nobody coming so i got priority over oncoming traffic so i'm turning right and signal straight away left to go into the car park your destination the how Go right on the roundabout. we will come back into Sir, the car park you have reached your destination. when you're coming into this car park because this car park is closed at the moment because of the COVID-19 but I have uploaded one video for day parking so you can subscribe my channel to watch other videos thank you very much if you know the area it is easy for you to pass that is why I'm going to upload these videos for my pupil who are practicing with their parents. Thank you very much for watching.